Whether you're new to airsoft or you've been playing for a while, you might notice that you're not doing too well on the field. Well, we're here to help you out and give you some advice to give you the edge on the field. What's going on you guys, my name is Cisco, and today we're gonna be giving you some tips and tricks to give you the edge and help improve your airsoft game on the field. First things first, you're gonna need some night vision goggles because if you don't have any, you're not playing airsoft. Wait, but Cisco, you don't even have night vision goggles. Hey, they're not supposed to know that. All right guys, in all seriousness, the first thing that we recommend to improve your game is to improve your vision. Seeing on the field is very important. And if you have started playing airsoft, you more than likely started off with a paintball style mask, a full bulky plastic mask that is very cumbersome. Like if you've ever tried to aim down your sights with a full paintball mask, you know how difficult it can be. So the name of the game is low profile. And this is where a nice goggles and a mesh mask setup will come in handy. Now I know we talk about this a lot on our channel and we mentioned it in our last video, but we want to stress the importance of low profile, okay? I see some of you guys out there that are running your bulky goggles and your full mesh lower, which is an improvement from a full paintball mask. But if you're being honest, it gets in the way of aiming down your sights. As an example of low profile, I have the Lancer Tactical Rage Goggles, which we featured in our last video. And this is a great option for low profile, especially because they have a wide lens, which allows you to see more and use your peripherals more on the field compared to a full paintball mask, which will hinder your vision. But this is also great at resisting fog, which if you've played in colder weather and you sweat a lot, you know that's a problem. I'm talking to myself here, okay? but we also have the Shadow Warrior Balaclava Mesh Mask, okay? This is a dramatic improvement when you want to aim down your sights. Now it has mesh up front where it matters to protect the teeth and the nose, but as you can see, it's cloth everywhere else. It goes over your head, so it'll help wick away sweat, which will prevent fogging, but it's also fabric on the cheeks as well. So when you have it on your face and you aim down sights, there's no interference from the mesh mask to aim down sights. So your ADS speed increases. And all of you guys know that if you play Call of Duty, ADS speed is king. Now these are just a couple examples of low profile face protection out there. There are a lot of different options out there like ASG and Valken, they make low profile goggles that work really well. And there are a ton of different mesh mask options that'll work for you. Or if you're really brave, you can actually take your existing mesh mask and Boaz did a video and shows you how to modify it to make it even more low profile. Or if you really, really wanna risk it, and if your field allows it, you can run no lower face protection but I can't condone that. That is completely up to you at your own risk. Teeth are expensive. How do I know? Because half of my airsoft friends are missing teeth. Honestly, I'm so glad that Kevin's not here right now. So that way we don't have to recommend dye masks. Y yes, yes. Yeah. And they're expensive too. Yeah, you're paying like 200 bucks for one mask. This set is like 35 bucks. So now that you have your low profile face protection, you can see better on the field and you're on the field and you're playing and you see an enemy player and you aim down your sights really quick because you're low profile and you start shooting zip, 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 zip. And then you notice that your BBs aren't landing on your target. And then he hears you and he turns around and he snaps around and two taps you in the fingers because that's life. And you're wondering, why aren't my shots landing? And it's because your accuracy probably sucks. So if your accuracy sucks, the first thing that you have to ask yourself is, is your hop-up adjusted? It's not? Okay, go ahead and adjust it and test it out. Now, most airsoft guns out of the box from the factory don't have the best inner barrel. Those are mass produced and have some imperfections that will greatly affect your accuracy. This is where a precision aftermarket inner barrel will come in handy. These are nicely polished and are smoother than a factory inner barrel, which will greatly improve your accuracy. And another thing that you're gonna to want to change out is your bucking, okay? This will increase the consistency and the effective range of your airsoft gun. Now there are plenty of great aftermarket inner barrels. Mad Bull makes some, Action Army, 
if you want to go Gucci Prometheus, but the best bang for your buck is going to be Unicorn Airsoft. These are fantastic, especially of how affordable they are. They're a newer company on the market and they've done a lot of QC on their barrels and we've tested them ourselves. And boy, these are smooth, they're accurate, they're just so damn nice. And on top of that, each barrel comes with a Unicorn Airsoft bucking. So you don't have to play this game of, I got my inner barrel, what bucking do I need now? Now, if you aren't going to go with the Unicorn inner barrel and bucking combo, why? It's a great option, but you still decide to go with an aftermarket inner barrel, you're going to want to replace your bucking also. And there are tons of great aftermarket buckings. Mad Bull, Maple Leaf, Lalax, Unicorn. Unicorn sells these individually as well in different degrees. So whatever FPS you're shooting, you can compensate for it. But let me tell you something. These are so damn dope. Our head tech Taylor tested these out, okay? He said that these are the closest that you will get to our hop performance without our hopping your inner barrel. That's insane. And this is like nine bucks. This is such a great value. There's, there's no excuse why you shouldn't get this. For you new players out there that don't know what you're looking for when upgrading your inner barrel, what you're gonna wanna do is take your existing inner barrel and measure it out, okay? Go ahead and get your tape measure uh, and measure it out in millimeters. If you don't have a millimeter ruler, uh, Measure it in inches and then go to Google and convert it. That way you know the length of your inner barrel that you need to get for your airsoft gun, okay? And then there is going to be the diameter as well. So we recommend a 6.03 millimeter diameter inner barrel. I know there are tighter bores. Just go with a 6.03, okay? It's, it's better, Tr just trust us, okay? And then for buckings, they're typically measured in degrees. Now for most airsoft guns, we recommend a 60 degree bucking. But if you are shooting over 400 FPS, you can go for something a little bit stiffer, like a 70 degree bucking. Final thing about inner barrels. When you're installing your new aftermarket inner barrel, clean it. Sometimes they come gunky out of the box, okay? So go ahead and clean it. And if you go and play airsoft, after you're done playing, for some reason, barrels like to get dirty. So clean it after you play too, okay? And if you don't know how to clean your inner barrel, we have plenty of videos on it, check it out. Now you have your nice low profile face protection and you have that Gucci aftermarket inner barrel and bucking setup. And now you're shooting on the field and your BBs are just sometimes flying everywhere or they're not coming out at all. Well, the question that you gotta ask yourself is what type of BBs are you using? Walmart BBs? Oh no, we're fixing that right now. BBs are just as important as everything else on this list. They're literally what you're shooting out of your airsoft gun to hit your target, okay? And if you're using subpar BBs, you're getting subpar performance, okay? Your BBs are gonna be flying everywhere. Sometimes it'll jam in the barrel and it could cause your gun to break internally, okay? Don't do that. There are plenty of reputable airsoft brand BBs out there. Lancer Tactical, Elite Force, Jag Arms, KWA, G&G. There's so many that you can get. And you're gonna wanna get your BBs from a reputable airsoft store, like Airsoft GI, because we carry the BBs that are meant for your airsoft gun. Now, the next most important part about BBs is going to be the BB weight. Now, the rule of thumb is the heavier weight you go, the more consistent your shots are going to be. Also, with the heavier weight, you're going to lose muzzle velocity, okay? So you're gonna to want to experiment. I typically recommend 0.25 gram BBs for everyone, but you might find that your airsoft gun likes a particular weight. Some people like 0.28 gram BBs. Boaz and I personally like running 0.30 gram BBs. Buy a couple bags of BBs in different weights and experiment and find out what works best for you. So you have your nice face protection that's low profile. You have your nice Gucci aftermarket inner barrel and you have your correct weight BBs, okay? But you're on the field and you're shooting and you notice sometimes BBs just aren't coming out of your airsoft gun. And that's probably your magazine. So it's time to upgrade your magazine. Most guns out of the box come with a high cap magazine or a high capacity magazine. These will typically have the trap door where you pour BBs into and then they'll have a wheel right here that you wind to load BBs into the airsoft gun. Now, one misconception that a lot of people have when starting out is they wind the wheel until they see BBs go up to the feed lip and then they think it's good to go. It's wrong. You have to continue winding it after that to ensure that BBs are loaded into the airsoft gun. And this is annoying because if you don't wind it a lot, you're gonna have to wind it around every 10 shots. It's a big pain in the butt, okay? 
what you're gonna wanna do is upgrade to a mid cap magazine. It eliminates that issue because it's just using one spring. That'll constantly push the BBs into your airsoft gun, which will provide consistent feeding, which means more consistent shots on the field. And it comes in handy, especially in a pinch on the airsoft field. You don't wanna miss any shots, right? So there are plenty of different aftermarket mid cap magazines like Elite Force has a box set of theirs. Lancer Tactical has their high speed magazines in box sets and individually, probably the best bang for your buck. And then if you wanna go really Gucci, PTS has their EPM and EPM one magazines. Now the benefit of this is again, feeding consistently into the gun, but you are sacrificing BB count. Mid cap magazines typically come around 120 to 250 with the EPM one. So honestly, I would say it's a good rule of thumb just to have mid cap magazines. Get a set, you're gonna need them. And on the field, carry one high cap magazine as your latch ditch effort to, you know, stay in the fight. A couple tips when getting mid cap magazines, you might need to break in the spring of your mid cap magazine. And the way you do this is you're gonna take your magazine, fill it with BBs and let it sit for a night, okay? Then the next day you're gonna unload it, load it again with BBs and then shoot it, see how it works. And if it's still having a little bit of feeding issues, do the same process again and again until you notice the BBs are coming out smoothly. And if you're going with a heavier weight BB, something heavier than a 0.28 gram BB, we highly recommend going with either the PTS EPM-1 or EPM magazines or the Lancer Tactical High Speed magazines. They have very strong springs that can reliably feed those heavier weight BBs. So now you have your low pro face pro and you have your Gucci inner barrel and bucking setup and you have the correct BBs for your airsoft gun and the Gucci magazines to feed those BBs. But now you're on the field and you're playing for about half the day and you're shooting at a target and you're zip, 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 zip. That does not sound good. Your gun dies. And now you're gonna be that guy. You're walking around the field. And, Anybody got a spare battery? Oh, thank you. Oh, this battery doesn't fit in my gun. Does anybody have a spare battery? Oh, thank you. Oh no, my gun's not wired to Dean's. Uh, why are your gun to Dean's if it's not already wired to Dean's? But more importantly, don't be that guy, okay? The way that you can prevent that is by getting more batteries. Honestly, guys, if you're planning on going out for a day of play and only have one battery, it's not gonna cut it. We typically recommend having at least two batteries on the field to make it through the day. Or if you're like me, you have 50, and it might become a little bit of a fire hazard, but that's okay because you're prepared for the full day of airsoft. And you can also help out other players and your friends when their guns run out of juice. But hopefully your friends are smart and have multiple batteries also. Now, if you are an advanced player out there using LiPo batteries, I see you out there. I see you, you know, it's guaranteed. You need to have at least two batteries minimum, at least two, okay? But for all you guys that are starting out in Airsoft, there are a lot of starter guns that come with a really good battery. But again, it only comes with one battery. And you know the saying, two is one, one is none. Well, in Airsoft, one is more like half because, you know, half of the day. But seriously, get multiple batteries, it'll help you out. And if you don't know what type of battery is right for your gun, make sure you check out our Airsoft Battery Guide uh, so you can find out exactly what works for you. And that goes for you advanced players too, because I know some of you guys just go with what's recommended by like the shop or whatever. Learn for yourself. All right guys, so now you have your low pro face pro, you have your Gucci inner barrel and bucking, you have the right BBs for your gun and the magazines to feed those BBs, and you have batteries to last the entire day. But you're on the field and you notice other players, they're being like really cool, really efficient, just snapshotting people really quick and they're just able to get on target much faster. And the last thing that will help improve your airsoft game is accessory. What the hell? Oh hey, exactly what we need. Now the first accessory that we recommend adding to your airsoft gun to improve your game is going to be an optic. But before you add an optic, become proficient with your iron sights. Whoa, whoa. L listen, listen, hear me out. When you are using your iron sights, you're becoming more consistent with presenting your airsoft gun to line up with your face to actually aim down your sights. So when you add an optic to that, you are just becoming more dangerous on the airsoft field. Oh yeah? Well Kevin never uses iron sights and his pretty dang dangerous on the airsoft field. Anyways guys, get an optic, okay? Whether it be a rifle scope or a red dot or something in between, it's a game changer. I don't know why in Call of Duty when you add an optic, it decreases your ADS speed. Like where's the logic in that? That makes no sense. Realistically, it increases your speed. So be logical, get yourself an optic. 
Now the next accessory that we recommend, especially for you indoor players and mill simmers, is a flashlight. It comes in handy more times than you think, okay? Now, you can use it for more than just looking around. You can actually use a flashlight in a tactical advantage to blind your opponent to shoot them before you shoot you. Now let's be honest, you're on the airsoft field, you don't have a flashlight, and you're, you're running through, looking down your sights, going to, through the corners, and then you see in, in the distance, not so far, but not too close, just a light, and you just kind of like freeze for a second. You're a deer in headlights, okay? And you get shot. It, it's a thing, it works, okay? Don't be the deer, be the headlights. And the last accessory that we would recommend is going to be some type of foregrip, whether it be a vertical grip, an angle grip, or some type of hand stop. It will help improve your weapon stability and improve your comfort holding the gun. And most importantly, consistency. It'll help improve your ADS speed. It's all personal preference, but find out what works for you. Now here are all the things that I recommend to help improve your airsoft experience. Now, for all you new players out there that don't have a lot of this stuff, it might look intimidating because it's all coming at you at once, but it's airsoft, it's a sport. Eventually you're gonna get all of these things. So prioritize what means most to you and go from there so you can improve your airsoft experience. You know, Boaz didn't have all this stuff until a couple years ago, cause he sucks. And he's been playing for like, 10 plus years because he sucks, okay? <laughs> In seriousness, I hope this video was informative for you. All of these products are available at airsoftgi.com and they might have a discount. And you can also take advantage of the Wombo combo to get free shipping and reward store credit. Don't forget to subscribe. Every subscription helps and like the video because it helps us beat the algorithm, okay? My name is Cisco. I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.